Fresher means healthier, right? Fresh food has long been viewed as the pinnacle of good eating, but even though it might be shocking to hear, it's not always the case. Over the past few years, canned foods have gotten a bad rap for being unhealthy, but more and more research shows alternatives such as frozen and canned are generally, nutritionally, not worse than their fresh counterparts. There are many canned food options that are nutritionally sound. The key is knowing the best products to pick. And in today's video, we'll tell you what the healthiest canned food items are. From tomatoes, pumpkins, and apricots, to water chestnuts, and many more. Watch till the end to hear about all of them. And there's more. We'll also tell you what the unhealthiest canned foods are so that you can avoid them at all costs. Number 1. Pumpkin Carving a pumpkin is one thing, but actually cutting, gutting, and peeling a pumpkin to eat is another. Canned pumpkin is by far a much more convenient and less messy route, but it may also be more nutritious when it comes to specific nutrients. Pumpkin in the can is rich in beta-carotene, which is an antioxidant that our bodies convert into vitamin A. Vitamin A supports your vision and immune system. A half cup of canned pumpkin is more than three times the amount of beta-carotene compared to regular cooked pumpkin. But make sure you read the labels when shopping for the canned version and don't accidentally grab pumpkin pie mix, which can have added sugar. Try using canned pumpkin to make a delicious turkey pumpkin soup, which clocks in at only 150 calories per serving. Number 2. Tomatoes this is another time-saving no-brainer. Using canned tomatoes saves you from cooking and stewing your own from scratch, which can take hours. By going the canned route, you'll also get a boost in iron, which is about four times the amount as compared to fresh tomatoes. And the canning process makes the antioxidant lycopene in tomatoes easier for your body to absorb. Tomatoes are famous for their lycopene, a carotenoid that may help lower the risk of stroke. Finding this list interesting? Well, keep watching because there's a lot more good stuff coming up. But before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. Number 3. Apricots Who doesn't love an apricot? Or two? Or three? The trouble is they have a short season. That's where canned apricots come in, which you can find on supermarket shelves all year round. While enjoying these sweet fruits, you might be getting extra beta-carotene and phenols, which are antioxidants that may help prevent certain diseases from developing by keeping free radicals from forming. It's worth noting that compared to fresh, frozen apricots also fare well, providing higher levels of vitamin C and other antioxidants. Number 4. Fatty Fish Fatty fish like sardines and mackerel contain omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin D, which are two essential nutrients for good health. Omega-3 is a good fat which helps to maintain healthy blood cholesterol levels that are essential for your brain and heart health. Vitamin D aids calcium absorption for bone health. An increasing number of studies have found a link between lack of vitamin D and various chronic diseases. And don't chuck the bones from canned sardines as they're an additional source of calcium. Mash them with the meat for easier consumption. Number 5. Beans Beans are an affordable, nutritious, and diverse food. Don't feel guilty for buying canned ones instead of dried, because when you don't have to worry about spending 12 hours soaking and cooking your beans, it's a heck of a lot easier to use them in everything from soups to salads to dips to grain bowls to burritos. Beans are loaded with fiber and protein. Just remember to drain them well and give them a good rinse and rid all that sodium-laden liquid. Though beans do lose folate during the canning process, they remain good sources of iron, fiber, calcium, and protein as well. Number 6. Chicken It may not sound massively appealing, but a can of cooked chicken is a versatile ingredient that's packed with protein and incredibly low in fat for a relatively low calorie count. Chicken is high in selenium as well as cancer-preventing B vitamin niacin. It also contains B6, which is important for energy metabolism. Number 7. Clams these shellfish are high in protein and zinc, which are critical for the well-being of your immune system. They're also loaded with iron and selenium, containing far greater quantities than red meat. They're also high in omega-3 fatty acids, which are a good source of phosphorus, manganese, and potassium. They do contain a bit of cholesterol, but nowhere near the quantities found in prawns. Number 8. Water Chestnuts if you think water chestnuts only offer texture, think again. You'll get about 3 grams of fiber per serving as well as 17% of your daily need for potassium and manganese. If that isn't enough, they're also a good source of the essential nutrients vitamin B6, potassium, copper, and even protein. With all that nutritional value, the satisfying crunch is just an added bonus. Number 9. Roasted Red Peppers 
Canned is not always synonymous with bland, and roasted red peppers are a great example. While there are unflavored varieties packaged in water, roasted red peppers also come soaked in oil or seasoned. Taste is just one of the many benefits of canned red peppers, though. They're also high in beta-carotene, an antioxidant that transforms into vitamin A and helps support healthy skin. They're also high in vitamin C, which helps protect the immune system by fighting against free radicals. Number 10. Artichokes Why put your fingers at risk by trimming sharp leaves off a fresh artichoke when you can get the same benefits from an already dismantled canned version? They are higher in sodium than most canned vegetables, and simply soaking, rinsing, and patting your canned artichokes dry can optimize their health benefits. One can contains 5 grams of fiber and 3 grams of protein. It also contains potassium, calcium, and even some iron. Number 11. Chickpeas Canned chickpeas are a versatile superfood. In fact, health benefits attributed to diets rich in chickpeas have been identified in terms of diabetes, heart health, GI health, cholesterol, and even weight loss. Number 12. Corn The resounding favorite. These canned golden kernels taste as sweet as candy, but pack in way more nutrients without any added sugar. You can throw them on tacos, add them to casseroles, salsas, and salads. Although corn is sweet, it has a low glycemic index, meaning its carbs are slowly released into your bloodstream and are unlikely to spike blood sugar levels. Number 13. Prunes Prunes are rich in phenols such as rutin, a powerful anti-inflammatory that can be great for soothing sore muscles after a workout. They're also known for their laxative properties, which may come in handy if you're experiencing bloating or constipation. Prunes are packed with vitamin C and enable the human body to absorb iron. While they might not be the most obvious canned fruit choice, the health benefits they offer are plentiful. Okay, so now that we've talked about the healthiest canned foods, it's time we look at the other end of the spectrum. Let's tell you about the worst and unhealthiest canned foods. Number 1. Clam Chowder Soup Don't be fooled into thinking this soup is good for you just because it plasters the words light and low calories per serving on the label. Lurking beneath the aura of natural foods is one nasty additive, titanium dioxide. A recent review found that this whitening agent has numerous negative health implications on humans, like hindering the functioning of digestive cells and reducing absorption of nutrients, such as iron and zinc. Because it has no value other than keeping artificial foods white, there's no reason TD should be in your soup. Number 2. Sliced Peaches These melt-in-your-mouth peaches are actually soaking in water, high-fructose corn syrup, corn syrup, and sugar inside those cans. By marinating in this sweet solution, just a half cup of these peaches racks up 21 grams of sugar. The same half a cup of natural peach wedges will only have 7 grams of sugar. That equates to 28% of your recommended daily limit of added sugars. Number 3. Spaghetti and Meatballs who knew that spaghetti and meatballs could come with 8 grams of sugar? It's all thanks to the high fructose corn syrup in their sauce. It does have a significant amount of protein, but not from the actual meatballs, from soy protein concentrate. Unlike protein isolate, protein concentrate contains more of the nutrients found in soy, which could mean it's likely to contain traces of carcinogen containing pesticides used in genetically modified soy production. To make matters worse, the meatballs are dyed with caramel color and most of their fat comes from soybean oil. Number 4. Baked Beans While canned beans in a low-sodium brine are an excellent high-protein choice, baked beans are less so. This is because there's tons of saturated fats, sugar, salt, and other additives, like the hormone disruptor BPA. Generally speaking, baked beans encompass all that is bad about canned foods in one package, transforming a healthy choice into a long-term health hazard. Instead of buying baked beans, make your own from canned beans, tomato sauce, and the spices of your choice. Number 5. Processed Meats Processed meats are bad enough for you on their own, with things like liquid smoke, high animal fat content, and countless additives. Processed meats like sausages, ham, and bacon have been linked with several types of cancer and cardiovascular issues. Virtually all of these foods contain saturated fats and salt in excess. How many of these canned foods do you have in your pantry? How often do you turn to canned foods in a week? Let us know in the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video, and enjoy.